In the previous lectures we started discussing the anti-hyperlipidemic drugs. We already discussed HMG-CoA reductase inhibitors and niacin. So today we'll talk about fibrates. Phenofibrate, etofibrate, bezofibrate and gemfibrosil are derivatives of fibric acid that lower serum triglycerides and increase HDL levels. First let's talk about the mechanism of action. The paroxysm and proliferator activated receptors are members of the nuclear receptor family that regulates lipid metabolism. Fibrates activate these receptors, leading to decreased triglyceride concentrations, through increased expression of lipoprotein lipase, and decreasing apolipoprotein C2 concentration. Fibrates also increase the level of HDL cholesterol, by increasing the expression of ApoA1 and ApoA2. They are used in the treatment of hypertriglyceridemias. They are useful in treating type 3 hyperlipidemias, which is known as dysbeta-lipoproteinemia. The most common adverse effects are mild gastrointestinal disturbances. There is also a predisposition to form gallstones, due to increased biliary cholesterol excretion. Myositis, muscle weakness or tenderness may happen, and the risk may be increased in patients with renal insufficiency. Myopathy and rhabdomyolysis have been reported, in patients taking gemfibrosil and statins together, so the use of gemfibrosil is contraindicated with simvastatin. These agents may increase the effects of warfarin. They shouldn't be used in patients with severe hepatic or renal dysfunction or in patients with pre-existing gallbladder disease. That's all for this video. In the next lecture we'll continue discussing the anti-hyperlipidemic drugs.